everybody, it's Colette with Blessings Craft Therapy with another project. Friends, let's do a super simple but super cute plate for spring. All right, so I start with this Dollar Tree napkin. We're going to get it to one ply and ta-da! All right, then we're going to take the uh, clear plate from Dollar Tree and I'm just wiping the back with some rubbing alcohol. And let it dry. And then I have some dishwasher safe Mod Podge. It has to be dishwasher safe. And I'm just covering the back of the plate with the dishwasher safe Mod Podge. Have I said that enough? That is dishwasher safe. <laughs> It's dishwasher safe. It has to be dishwasher safe. Unless you don't want it. If you want it to be just decorative, then fine. But if you want to be able to wash it, then I would encourage to use dishwasher safe. Now I do a nice thin layer all over the plate. And then I cut down the napkin and then um, I just put just center it or however you would like it whatever flowers you like best put it on the plate now I'm not being super careful about the wrinkles because I like that look it I don't know it almost gives me like a pressed flower vibe does that make sense um but if you don't like the wrinkled thing then be super careful and make it so that you don't get wrinkles but all I'm doing is going around and lightly patting down so it adheres to the plate Ta-da! there's that Perfect. Okay, then we're going to go around and put another layer of dishwasher. <laughs> said it again. Dishwasher safe Mod Podge. <laughs> and I got it at Michael's, just so you know. All right, and I'm just doing a nice layer around that. And okay, so one thing I'm going to tell you is um, I usually let this dry really well before I um, cut, you know, cut the excess or sand it. Tonight, I made the mistake of not letting it dry and you'll see why it's a mistake now first of all if you're going to sand it this way it's going to make the whole thing shift so you might want to I did not sand it wet I it's just not I, I didn't have it in me to have the whole thing shift and make me cry and all the things so I chose not to do that but um you'll see here I'm doing a little trimming and just so that there wasn't so much excess to sand and trim, trim, trim. And oh, it sticks all over your scissors. Oh, it's so irritating. See, look at oh. And then I had to wash my scissors. Just wait for it to dry, honestly. And if you're impatient like I am, you can make sure that all of your um, Mod Podge is nice and thin. And then you could even use a, a dryer like I am, a heat gun, and just drying it so that you can sand it. And then that's what we're doing here. I'm just going around the edge and I'm sanding all of the excess off. Um, I do put an a final coat of the dishwasher safe Mod Podge. Once this is fully dry, um, I'll put another coat on and then you have to let it dry. If you want to put it in the dishwasher, it has to cure for like 21 days. But I I'll be honest with you, I never put mine in the dishwasher and I never wait 21 days. I always wait like 24 hours once it's fully dry, then I hand wash it and oh my God, look at how pretty it is. <laughs> how so pretty, right? I mean, it's so dainty. Anyways, friends, thanks so much for watching. I hope this inspires you to do something even better. Thank you.